Oh, hello, my heart is dinky do. Just me, Scotty McClue, with a quick Wednesday evening pop-up just to say hi to you. Couple of days to go, or should I say a couple of nights to go, until we're live back on the radio on 96.3 on the FM. And I thought to myself, I shall just pop up, see who's about, have a quick chit-chat, and find out what everybody's up to. So welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet with a quick pop-up just for you to say dinky-doo. Wednesday evening, of course. Nothing gets past me. There's Daryl McMillan saying hi. How are you? How are you, Daryl? Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClure. William Morrison and Alison Scrace. What? Watching Dinky Doo, Sid Divine, Ellen Ruff. Excellent to have you all with us. Hello. Welcome, 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 I say. Scotty McClure's Wednesday evening pop up just for you to say Dinky Doo. Evening, Scotty. This is Christopher Love. Evening to you, Christopher. And lovely to have you with us. Your voice is echoing, Scotty. Thank you, Giuseppe Bacchetti. Perhaps we need to turn it down or something like that. I shall say that everything's fine here. I think everything is absolutely. Absolutely fine here. Just doing a quick check. There we are. Any better? So there we are. Excellent stuff. Susan Forrest watching. Dinky do. Carmen McCusker. Gary Crossan. Lovely to have all you guys with us. As I say, just a quick pop up. Shan't keep you long. Two nights to go until we're live on the radio nation, Radio Scotland, 96.3. That is the big one. Everyone in Scotland is very, very excited. Evenings to Scotty Fru and uh, Giuseppe. Hello, Scotty. I'm that happy. I'm going to have a shave. Excellent. You enjoy your shave. God, Riley, think you do. Good evening, Scotty. I'm loaded with the cold. I'm sorry to hear that, Matthew. Please don't get too close to your telephone because I don't want anybody else catching that. Uh, David Nagels, Nilo Gormley, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue, quick Wednesday evening pop up just for you. Not long to go now, Scotty, says Charles McLachlan. Two nights, Charles. Squeaky time for Scotty. Excellent stuff. So there we are. But I am looking forward to working on Nation Radio Scotland. It's fantastic. And um, I'm happy. Rangers 1, says Daryl McMillan. Good for you, Daryl. Evening, sir, says Neil Gormley and you, Neil. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure. And it's a quick pop-up just for you. Hi, Scotty, says Susan Forrest. Down in Lancashire, lovely to have you with us. Hello from Hart Hill, from Mags, Chick and Toto, originally from Black Ridge and Forth. I know Forth very, very well. So there we are. Shortbread says hello, Deceits. Absolutely hello, Deceits. A bit of shortbread for you. You can't beat shortbread. Hi, Scotty, says our Peter Richardson, Dinky Do. I hope you're all going to join me. I look like Father Christmas, says Derek. Good for you, Derek. Hope you're all going to join me. Good evening, my lord, says David Negus. No further questions, David. Best place for you, as they say. Good luck with the new show. Thank you for that. All right from Lanarkshire, Scotty. Friday, Scotty. I'll give you a bell. Excellent. Hello, Scotty for Paisley. This is Brian McCaffrey. Excellent stuff. Hi, Scotty. You say a big hi to my wife, Jackie. I love her. Cheers, bud. No problem at all. Dave Humphrey. Erica Meyer. I like your jumper. Thank you, Erica. Dinky do. I'll just give it a wee dust down here because uh, I've been working and um, we've got dust all over the place, but there we are. So it's just a quick pop-up. Hi, Scotty, says Elizabeth O'Neill. I hope you'll all be joining me. Very, very important. Go forth, first lord of the internet, to Scotty, Dave from Liverpool, Dave Humphrey, down in the pool there. Excellent to have you with us, Dave. And did he do to everybody in Liverpool? I was telling a taxi driver, you're back in the airwaves, he's not amused. Says hello, he saints, I'll bet he's not, because of a clue tells the truth. So there we are. Paul Wilkinson, Dinky Doo, looking forward to a new show. You're as mad as a hat, says Matthew Roberts. I thank you, Matthew. This is the hat. It's the mad one, the bonnet, the symbol of authority in the media. Been freezing. I've got my dressing gown on, says Derek. You eat your dressing gown on because these big old houses are very, very cold, Derek. 
and the winter screaming, oh, brrr, 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 all that sort of stuff. Wonderful. So there we are. Excellent. Uh, Friday night and Saturday night, two hours of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment, winging its way to every single one of you in uh, West Central Scotland. This radio station is huge. To say it covers Glasgow and West Central Scotland would probably be an understatement. So there we are. I'll be listening in along with my cat, says Neil Gormley. Excellent. Get the cat in there. Very, very important. Andy Simpson, welcome, I say. Scotty McClure with a quick pop-up just for you. I love the cold, says Trevor Entwistle. Oh, yes, you can't beat the Arctic Circle. Scotty, Scotty gives a shout-out to the Bears Den. Posh boys, says Russ McPherson. So they are excellent. Those are few posh boys. Isn't that from Bears Den? You posh boys. Check my Facebook. Mother will panto as Widow Twanky. It's coming up, says Alex Robertson, one of our finest young actors. Uh, so there we go. Excellent, Alex. Very, very pleased to hear that, by the way. I saw your polar bears. Breakfast means breakfast. Scotty, single mothers have moved into my streets. Four of them. Slides and bikes everywhere. Can we get this coverage in Fife? Says David Negus. Always worth a try, David. You never know. 96.3 on the FM. Enjoy yourself. Pretend that you are Giuigliamo Marconi and that you're trying to get the radio in five. If not, you'll get it online, so don't panic. Dinner fash, don't fret. There are. Uh, Donald Scott, Dinky Doo, Alison Thompson, a very, very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world stop broadcaster just for you, saying Dinky Doo. Excellent stuff. That's what we want. Quick pop up, because I thought you're all worth it. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, the other night we were up against the finale of BBC One's Bodyguard. 11 million people. So which did you watch? Did you watch Bodyguard or did you watch Scotty McClure? Fess up. Favourite chippy in Glasgow coming up next weekend from London, says Louis Faber. Nation Radio has the market, says Gary Crossan. Indeed, absolutely. Sounds great. When are you starting your new show, Scotty? Friday night, Danny Leslie. Two nights to go. Two more sleeps. <clears throat> so there were tonight and a sleep tomorrow. If you're an insomniac, then no more sleeps. Innes John Andrew Madden. Lovely to have you with us. Innes John Andrew Madden. Fantastic. Welcome, welcome, I say. You're all watching Scotty McClure, and we're live on Facebook Live. That's the big platform that serves not just one country, but so many countries. Anything up to two billion of you out there. Mike McCabe, Dinky Do, excellent stuff. So, I need Sunday's show shared and shared and shared. That's why the regulars will be seeing it coming along. Uh, Scotty, is your radio show going to have a moose loose about the hoose? It may well do, Gary Crossan. It's very exciting times in Scottish radio because if we're honest about it, for about the last 20 to 25 years, Scottish radio has been asleep since Scott FM went. That was the worst thing that ever happened to Scottish radio. So there we are. Uh, bodyguard was good. Line of duty is better, says Louis Faber. I know, but a lot of people were watching Bodyguard, Louis, because I was on at the same time, and they should have been watching Scotty McClue. But the pool of the drama, you see, was slightly higher. So 11 million. Now, I want an audience of 11 million. It's the least you can do. Gavin McVicker, dinky do. Uh, don't watch Killing Eve, the ending's tosh. So there we are, so Trevor Entwistle. Don't tell everybody, Trevor. So there we are. Watch Killing Eve if you want to, guys, if that's what you're into. Don't listen to him. So there we are. It's all opinion. So there we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're very welcome. Scotty McClue at your service. Now, um, also to tip you the wink, those of you who don't know, Nation Radio Scotland is Scotland's newest radio station, and it's massive. And um, it's uh, officially 
the big launch, I think, is the 1st of October. I'm going for a few beers on Sunday. Can you call up under the influence, Scotty? I'm never under the influence, so there's no point in me calling you, Matthew. And, of course, we wouldn't want any drunks on air. Thank you, Scotty, for your lovely words about me. Can't believe I'm a friend of the man I grew up at high school listening to. Alex Robertson, absolutely. But you are one of our finest young actors. And go for it. I understand what's involved in all that. Tremendous hard work and commitment. And you do the lot. So there you are. Um, Scotty, where's the monocle? I don't have the monocle. I've still got the glasses. I'm not sure you've been gagged, Scotty. I mean, I have a lot to say on my wavelength. So you're basically my voice. Well, we can't do second names. We can't name individuals. We can't do politics, football, religion. We can't have any naughty words, sweary words. That's a, a lifetime ban. Invergarian casuals are on fire, says Mike McCabe. Dinky do, Mike. Lovely to have you all with us. Carol Carlos Donnelly is watching. See, si, senor. Uh, oi, brew, guess who's here, says uh, Carl Carlos Donnelly. Could it be Carl Carlos Donnelly? Have I guessed correctly? What do you think of these guys? Can you see a thing when I've got them on right enough? Because it's the distance job, but fantastic. No, there we are. Uh, so that's, that's what it's all about. Do you prefer it like this or like this? And again, this or like this? I used to go out with an optician. And she always said, do you prefer it like this? Or like this. And I would say, again, please. Uh, Justin Ferguson, thank you, dear. Uh, Ali Yogi, a nightmare for the SPFL now, Scotty. Rangers and Celtic both through to the semi-finals of League Cup. And both are due to play on the same day. Can you see a future for Rangers and Celtic getting together as Glasgow United? What about that? You're getting nervous for the big night, Scotty, says John Adams. You have to take it in your stride, John. It's like uh, a big captain waiting to take a massive jumbo over to Delhi or something. He very quietly saying, uh, how are we doing? Are we uh, all right for fuel and everything? We good, good, excellent. All right. Uh, we'll just wait for a bit of clearance then. Thank you very much. There we are. We'll proceed. Uh, excellent stuff, Stuart Graham. How are we? Needing a celebratory turn on the Invergowery Xmas lights. Do you fancy the job, Scotty? I have turned on so many Christmas lights. They are the Christmas lights that have proved most challenging to me. And my own little ones, you know, you have to screw all the bulbs in to complete the circuit. Uh, can we sleep, Tories and women drive, or what's worse? No, we can't do either. Uh, those glasses are like mine. I think you should play a younger you in a documentary of your life, says Alex Robertson. Do you know, Alex, I can see a day joking apart when there will be a documentary about the life and times of Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff. So there you are. Fantastic. We may yet bring out a book and uh, set a few facts straight for one or two people. Uh, punting for work in the New Year, says Alex Robertson. Well, give us a shout, Alex, and we'll tell the nation. One of our finest young actors might be on the loose. Uh, so excellent stuff. John Adams, oh dear. He says, excellent. So there we go. Very good, John. Oh, aye, says Stuart Graham. Yes. So, now remember, Scotland hasn't had a major phone-in program for years and years and years. So this is massive. But it's worldwide as well. You'll get it on the internet. Uh, Wendy's party got a DJ, comedian, singer, ventriloquist. So should I get dancers as well for the 50th of January? I think must be our 50th. Uh, Rod Hardesty, what's he saying to us? I used to go out with an optician, but she kept making a spectacle of herself. Very good, Rod. Nothing gets past you. I prefer you with glasses, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Well, you see, the only trouble is I then can't see your massages. If I put my glasses on, can't see your massages, so I'd need to do that, and that looks a bit jokey. That's kind of dying out, that look, isn't it? I notice some of our politicians uh, do that, and I say, get rid of these ridiculous spectacles. Scotty, are we going to speak about the hard-hitting facts about our society that need addressing? Absolutely. Hello, de saints. 
Yes, wonderful stuff. Hazel Smith, thank you, dear. James Michael Harvey, a very, very fine fellow. Hello, James Michael Harvey. Lovely to hear from you. Thank you for your support um, over many, many years. Um, so there we are. Uh, the Scottish North American Native Indian, you'd have to say, Gary Crossan. Hawkeye the Noon. I introduced that joke on radio. It was when they brought in Hawkeye for football. And I used to go on a sports show to tell them what was coming up on the phone in. And Hawkeye was new. And uh, I said, um, is Hawkeye instant? And they went, yes. And I said, so it would be Hawkeye the new. <laughs> Very good. And the jokes obviously got out there. McClue's jokes are out there. 48 hours to go, big man. It's going to be a cracker. I think it'll be absolutely fine, but it's up to you guys. But remember your P's and your Q's. Uh, you look like Winston with your glasses on. Winston, yes, leading the country. That sort of thing. Well, there we are. Um, and uh, Stuart Graham, what have you got here? Don't know what that is, Stuart Graham. Right. Uh, good man, says Gary Cross and Andrew. I used to go out with a radiographer, but she saw right through me, says Neil Gormley. I used to go out with uh, a, a female clown, and she said, can we take your car, Scotty? Because when you start mine up, the lights flash and the doors fall off. <laughs> no, he looks like Tam. So there you are, Tam O'Shanter. Looking forward to hearing you on Friday in the radio, says Tony Mac. Yes, looking forward to being with everybody in the radio, because remember, I'll be meeting a lot of old friends as well. Share, share, share. The biggest mistake that was ever made in radio was not having Scotty McClue on the radio. That was the biggest mistake ever made in the whole history of radio and uh, top people admit that they say it was very very foolish whoever decided not to have Scotty McClure on was very very foolish and I thought well there you are you see there we are the truth will out hi Scotty says Scott Blything dinky do and a very very warm welcome to you Scott lovely to have you with us now guys can I also say a very, very big thank you for all the sharing and sharing and sharing. We don't know how much the broadcasts get limited, right? So it's wonderful of you all to share. I used to go out with a podiatrist, but what is this one? I used to go out with a podiatrist. It was a tremendous feat. Gary Classon, you're a shocker. Are you looking forward to meeting old chums? So Stuart Graham, of course, Stuart. The whole of Scotland and then we'll be able to be heard in Canada and America. What are you? How do you make a pool table laugh? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear me. Um, I went to a clown's funeral once, says the wonderful Kev Seed, perhaps one of the finest broadcasters this country's ever known. I went to a clown's funeral once as the hearse pulled off, it backfired, and all the doors fell off. <laughs> dear, oh, dear me, Kev Seed, you've no idea what a joy and a privilege it is to hear from you, my dear chum. You are a mega, mega star. Fantastic. The whole of the Northwest used to wake up to Kev Seed in the morning and uh, perhaps one of our most talented broadcasters. Fantastic. Uh, I'll be listening on Friday at 10 p.m. Hope we all address the issues that need addressing. That's up to you. Hello, De Saints. You make sure you get on with that. Definitely, Scotty. You need to get a TV talk show. Well, Scott Blything, this is the thing. The Scotty McClure show, I think they find it would be too big for them because they always say, oh, I think we'll maybe pass on that, Scotty. And it's It's... It's not what we sort of do. And I say, no, I know it's not what you sort of do. You're the best thing about radio since Marconi, says the wonderful Tony Mac. What are you getting? Hanging from trees. What do you get? Hanging from trees, says Willie Kelly. Sore arms. Excellent stuff, Willie. Good man. Steve Burrows, dinky do. I was standing at the bus stop this morning and I put my hand out to stop a bus and I just wasn't strong enough. Likewise, love you, says Kev Seed. What a top man. Kev Seed, these, these for you, la. 
Wonderful. Wakening up the whole of the northwest of England. Good morning. <laughs> uh, no try tonight, big man. Have you not, Mark? Well, go and smarten yourself up. That's all I can say. For goodness sake, we're out in the public eye now. We can't let standards slip. So go and put on a tie. So that's that. Now, uh, what else can I tell you? Yes, um, that's what I was going to say to you. Um, I remember a very, very senior man in commercial television, and he and I were having a conversation, and he said, we're never uh, sure what we're looking for in television, but we know what we want when we get it. And I thought, wow. And that's what's behind that guy. And as somebody actually once said, if Lou Grade had been around today, Scotty McClure would never be off our television screens. What about that? Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. They look godly. Good one, Neil. Thank you very much. William Renfrew's there. Uh, a big personality. We're dealing with you. You should have your own TV show. So there we are, says Stuart Graham. Uh, and the coffin fell out. The hairs rolled down the hill, through the chemist's doors, banged into the counter. The body popped up and said, have you had to stop my coffin? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come on now. Respect, respect. So there you are. That was like the guy that was playing golf and uh, a hearse went by and he turned around to take his hat off and bowed his head. And somebody said, that was very good of you. He said, well, she was a good wife to me. Um, hey, Scotty, all the best from Breedhurst. Big time, says Kieran O'Carroll. How's Mrs. McClure? Is she giving you a spare key for Friday night? Says Derek Jimmy Walker. I think I'll be getting kicked out Friday night, Derek Jimmy Walker, to be honest. Never heard from you in a long time. I hope all's well, says Gordon Hugh Thompson. Absolutely very well, Gordon Hugh Thompson. And you'll be hearing from me on, uh, you'll be hearing from me on Friday and Saturday, 10 o'clock sharp, through until midnight, live on 96.3. Give us a call. We want the whole of the world talking. Uh, hi to my brother in New Mains, Gordon Thompson, and his pie eating, says Charles Thompson. Absolutely. It's comedy night, says Gary Trusson. Every night is comedy night. Absolutely. So there we go. And <laughs> that's what it's all about. I remember addressing a group of young people once, and um, this girl said, said, I'm in a fashion show. And her friend said, life is a fashion show. I thought that was fabulous. Ghosts are rubbish liars. You can see right through them. Scotty, you should be on the stage. It leaves in five minutes. <laughs> Trevor Ed Whistle, will you never reach the end of your fantastic repertoire? Uh, there's a man knocked down every five minutes. He's getting very fed up of it. Story <laughs> back. <laughs> Absolutely. Ghost joke was pretty funny, says Stuart Graham. I thought so. Yes. Lol Charles. <laughs> hey. Says Gordon Hugh Thompson. Wonderful. So you guys are having a wee conversation with each other there. Fantastic. Now, Sunday night, guys, my viewing figures were down slightly because the finale of BBC One's drama Bodyguard was on. And I think some of you were secretly watching that instead of watching Scotty McClue. Tot, 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 I say. Outside of a dog, a book's a man's best friend. It's too dark to read Groucho Marx tonight. Facebook during your radio shows. Yes, we'll talk about that, but I think we'll just get the show on the road first. Mrs. McClue having a Tupperware party on Friday night. So, Derek, why are you coming along, Derek? There you are, get yourself something nice. Uh, a wee snap tin or something like that, snap box. Uh, Daryl Robertson, dinky do. It wouldn't be a snap tin, would it, actually? So there we go. It would be a snap box. Does anybody know what that is? Anybody know what they mean when I talk about your snap? So there we go. The Yorkshire people watching will probably know, and I think a lot of the Lancashire people watching will know. Does anybody know what your snap is? So there we are. See if you can tell me. Fantastic stuff. Right. Daryl Robinson's watching. Dinky doo. Lovely to have you with us. Um, and as I say, we, we don't want to get overboard in politics and stuff, but I'm wondering if now the politicians should have a vote on Brexit 
do we stay in or do we go out? Do we cancel it? So there we are. Pass through walls. What's this one? Hang on, this one needs a bit of reading. What's green and doesn't pass through walls? Says Trevor Entwistle. Answer. Casper, the friendly cooking apple. <laughs> Why did the turkey cross the road? I ask you. Hmm? It was the chicken's day off. There we are, Angela Goodlight, dinky do, good evening, sir, from Nottingham, says Patrick Barra Collins, lovely to have you with us, Patrick, from Nottingham, tremendous, I used to stay 44 miles from Nottingham, wonderful, I was on the baby, Scotty, I woke up one Monday with a traffic cone in my room, says Matthew Roberts, I'll tell you, people used to say, I was in the motorway today, and they closed off a lane. There were more cones than a student's bedroom. There, there we are. We cancel it, says Stuart. And it will be. So there we are. We don't know what you're on about, Stuart. Good day, mate, from Aussie. You're looking good, says Anne Logan Kerr in Australia. Bless you, Anne Logan Kerr in Australia. I was watching an American horror story when you popped up. This is much better. So Go. Have you got the Wizard and Antifari sorted out for Friday? Yes. I can announce officially it's not the lovable lassie of the big switchboard. It's the Wizard. So there we are, the Wizard. Um, so there we are. You've just broke your politics ban. A free for all is it's a load of deceits. No, that's on here, Halo Deceits. Okay? That's not live on the radio. Different ball game. Um, we on about the Brexit, says Stuart Graham. No, I'm just saying, should the politicians, I put it on the Facebook there, should the politicians decide? Because are we actually up to deciding? Well, I need to sleep for work, says Gordon Hugh Thompson. Good night to all from New Mains. Good night, bro. Good night, Gordon Hugh Thompson. And sleep well, my dear friend. Winner, winner. Chicken dippers for dinner, says Scott Blything. Excellent stuff. I'm about to push off anyway, guys. What is the time? Does anybody know the time? Let's do a wee bit of sharing on this if we can. I might have to put my glasses on to share because the other device is at a bit of a distance. Not that they're much help for that right enough. So there we go. Right, and we're on to that. There we are. Excellent stuff. Winner, winner, chicken dippers for dinner. There we go. Wonderful. A wee poem. Um... What do you call an English dog? Says Derek Jimmy Walker. Woofy Smith. Derek Jimmy Walker, I think you've been stealing the Christmas crackers and opening them up and memorizing the jokes. And I'm also cutting the grass. Uh, my next door neighbor tried it today. Yeah, it's a bit wet, actually. I think it's probably had its last cut, would you not say? We might have to do a little bit, but I think, I think it's probably. Hi, Scotty from Vancouver, Canada. Wonderful. So, Richard Burnett on the Scotty McClue YouTube there. Guys, get yourselves onto the Scotty McClue YouTube channel as well. I'm just going to do a bit of sharing here. If you can do the same, that would be fantastic. Don't forget the studio nurse. Says Steve Burns, no, 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 we need the studio nurse to tell people if they are slightly bananas and maybe in need of help. Share to a page. The studio nurse will know if you're in need of help and you won't feel a thing. We'll just cut you off very slowly and uh, you can just lie back and chill. Right, what have we got here? I'm doing a bit of sharing, guys. Share, 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 share. And I may have to type in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to have to type. There's no doubt about it. No, in fact, I won't bother. I'll just post, and that's it. There we are. I'm going to be a cardiac surgeon, but I didn't have the heart for it, says Tony. I know what you mean. Absolutely. Could you imagine, joking apart, could you imagine doing his eight years training? as a surgeon, and then going into the theatre on a Monday morning, picking up your scalpel and going, I don't think I can do this. So there you go. All right, how are you doing? This is Robbie Kusa. Dinky do. Yes, I once worked with a broadcaster who trained as a pathologist. What about that? Um, all right, how are you doing? This is Robbie Kusa. Robbie Kusa. Kouser or Kouser, what do you prefer, Robbie? I like to get people's names right. This is not going to be a problem. John Cameron's watching. Dinky do, John. Um, this is not going to be a problem on the radio, of course, because it's first names only. 
So there you are, first names only on the radio. And as I say, if there's any bad language, then obviously lifetime ban. All right, Scotty, you still dabbing, says John Cameron. I dab with the best of the way. Da, 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 da. No problem. Uh, I went to the doctor and said, I feel like a pair of cottons. He said, pull yourself together. Trevor Entwistle, honestly. I was at a wedding on Saturday and it was so sad, even the cake was in tears. James Kelly, Dinky Doo, and a wonderful John Adams has got a friend there with a very famous name. Well done, John Adams. Excellent stuff. Have you all shared, guys? Have you shared, 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 shared? Uh, I'll do another re share here. Excellent stuff. Share and uh, share to. I'll just share to the public. There we are. Let them know. Um, why are you got your legs out of the window? I'm airing my socks. Uh, good night now, Scotty. French toast from a supper. We were late for the French toast, Matthew. Is that not turn over during the night? Scotty, I thought I was a dog. I went to the psychiatrist. He told me to lie on his couch. And I said, I'm not allowed in the furniture. Oh! Fantastic. Has last year's Christmas crackers getting open tonight, says John Adams. I think so. Somebody's bought a box, a job lot cheap, and thought, I'll just have a wee sneak peep at the jokes inside. So there'll be a lot of plastic uh, tin openers and mini sets of playing cards and all that on your table in the morning, whistles that don't blow terribly well. All that sort of idea. but uh, And the hat. Don't forget the hat. Just think, Scotty, all the CDs you have in the background will now fit in a tiny SD card. How technical changes, Charles Thompson. You're absolutely right. It's wonderful. You know, I mean, I, I talk to my colleagues in uh, commercial television. They say, well, I'd better get back to the studio. And I say, just do it on your phone. That's what it's about. Right off to your bed, Scots. Wonderful stuff. Kieran Anderson. Dinky do. You've got bloodshot eyes, says Stuart Graham. I don't think so, Stuart. I think that must be the light playing tricks. I don't think there's any bloodshot in my eyes. Unless you're talking to somebody else. You're having a, a conversation with somebody else, which is very possible. Of course. Excellent stuff. So there we go. And uh, who else have we got? Thomas Hamilton. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Right. I'm going to push off. It's been great to be with you. Make sure you share and share and share and share this. If I don't manage to catch up with you before Friday night at 10 o'clock sharp, then you'll be hearing me on 96.3 on the FM, Nation Radio Scotland. Uh, Alex Robinson, I went to the doctors. I said, I'm uh, uh, choking in my throat. He said, you're choking. I said, no, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> so, night, Scotty. Night, night, everybody. Are we still allowed French toast after Brexit? Yes. I mean, I can't really see Brexit happening to any great extent. It might happen in name only, but I don't genuinely believe many people want it, regardless of what they said at the time of the referendum. That's what I would say. That's the way it's looking. Night, everybody. Night, Robbie. Night, uh, James Michael Harvey. Dinky do. And bye. And this is Scotty McClure saying to every one of you, Dinky do.